Hello everybody, it's Lint over here, and guess what? I am I'm in a dungeon. <laughs> oh gosh, what am I gonna do here? Well, the idea is to make a game. But I'm not the greatest at making games, so I'm gonna get some help. Okay, um hold tight, I'll see if I can summon some um, experts. Um anybody come and help me? Anybody come on in, help me? Let's see, we'll see who comes in because I wanna make sure that we'll oh, only got the best. <gasps> Good. I got Riley, Michael, Shane, Carl, Alex, Isley. Um, oh my gosh, they're everyone. The experts are here. This is great. This is great. Okay. So what we are going to do, guys, is hi Michael, hi Katie. We are going to have fun by putting in some NPCs, and we are going to make my book as a game. Hello, new. <laughs> All right. So everybody, spread out. I put in NPCs, any characters from my game, or anyone that sort of looks like it should be in my game, and enjoy! Okay everybody, to make sure that you can build, I'm going to set you all to world builders. The way I'm going to do that is type in ability, and A, world builder, true. Now everyone can be world builders and for your NPCs. <laughs> Katie's wasted no time. Hello, Jeff. Let me show you how you get an NPC. First, you hit E to get your inventory up, and then go to the fourth tab, and you'll see all the eggs. Click that button, and all the eggs will appear. The one you want is the multicolored one right at the end called Spawn NPC. Voila. And now you have your egg. Now, all you have to do is click to place your NPC. If that doesn't work, you might not be in world builder mode. And all you have to do is just type in slash world builder and it will toggle. And if it says world builder says updated to true, then it's correct. If it's false, you won't be able to place any. So I'll just run that again and set it to true. So there's my NPC, and you'll notice that they're a villager. Well, that sort of style. Now to change that name, all you do is click here and put in the name. So I'm going to make this my little character scenario. And I'm going to make her say hello. Hello. <laughs> Good to see you. So you could have whatever you want written there and choose whatever you want her to look like. Pretty much it. So now you can see scenarios there. If I click again, it'll take me back to this format here. We don't want that. So I'm going to go turn myself out of World Builder and into just normal player mode. And then you can see scenario saying, hello, good to see you. Excellent. So that's how we make our NPCs. Let's go and see what others are doing to program them. In the book there are nasties. Now here's a henchman here. <laughs> they called him Grant Grunt. <laughs> so he will be one of the Secret Allegiance members. So, see what he has to say. Die you terrible person. Long live the Allegiance. Well, that's just lovely. Uh oh. Okay. Hi, I want to hug too. Yeah. And if I wasn't in creative, I'd be in big trouble right now. Okay, so let's have a look at the coding behind what Grant Grunt is doing here. So, we know that we've got the name and the dialogue. There's some advanced settings. In this one, it's a button mode die with it written on the button. You can actually turn that off and it will just run as soon as you close it. So this one will summon a zombie, one block across, three blocks up, one block across from where this particular um, PC is standing. So that's cool. So if I just close that and then go back, so World Builder is up false. This time there's no button, but when I close it, it runs that program. <laughs> and. Uh, yeah, I don't want to test that too much more, because we're going to end up with zombies everywhere. But that's pretty cool. So that's the basics of how you can get 
um, some of the gameplay working. <laughs> I think I know where all the zombies ended up. So who's over here? Gamers! Hey, gamers! Well, oh, you're short, gamers. Okay. <gasps> Be careful around here. Leader doesn't give up the crystal that easily, so you're going to have to pull something crazy in order to get it. Here is something for you to get around a little quicker. There is one more surprise waiting for you near that waterfall. Good luck. Oh, and here we've got a map and a potion of speed. Okay, that's pretty cool. The potion of speed is not going to work on me because, well, I'm not in the right mode. But would have if I had done that. And what else did you say? Have a map? <laughs> and the map is useless because we're actually under a whole lot of water. Which is kind of the evil thing I planned. Ha 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 ha. But yeah, that's a really, really good idea. So let me just get that out of my hands for a second. There's something underneath here. Whoa. Map is useless. We are underwater. Great. <laughs> so if I go back to this view here, let's have a look. So you can see here we've got the name, what I call the primary dialogue, which is what I'm talking about with kids in advanced settings. So give the person a map, here have a map, give speed potion. So it's a pretty very simple commands, but they work really effectively. Now who have we got here? Oh, the little one. Yeah. It's James! I'm sure James is a wonderful person. Wait a minute. You're the leader? James is not my real name, my name is the leader. Crystal. Ooh. Okay, well, let's just see what all the coding is here. First of all, I have definitely stepped on a pressure plate. That runs a command that shows the word leader. The way that's done is underneath here is the command block. And it's got slash title and the title the leader. And that shows up as you saw. Let's place those blocks back. Beautiful. Now, for him, Let's go into World Builder and check out, see exactly what we've got here. Advanced settings. Alright, crystal. It says, tell I have a guest. I have a guest for you for the crystal. Okay, so what we're going to do is just fix this up a bit, but it's not quite working. For the start, we need to say, at P. You will never get the crystal. Okay. <laughs> There we go. Um, might have it here as give crystal. The thing I like about this is you can always go back and change. There we go. And here I could be a bit crazy and put in please give crystal. I don't know if it's going to fit, but I'll try. Okay, let's just put in these and then it might say give the player it's going to use a diamond um, just as our crystal for now let's see if that works so going back to my test mode voila give crystal you will never get the crystal please <laughs> Thank you so much for the crystal, James. <laughs> now imagine if we got your NPCs to do so much more. For example, they can teleport you from one place to another. That could get you through a locked door, for example. Or you could get them to summon even more mobs or give you more equipment or even take things from you. It can give you XP take away a little bit of your health so basically whatever you can do in a command block you can pretty much do in an NPC your games can become far more sophisticated than what I've shown here <laughs> if you really like this map it's yours that's right I'm giving it to you have a look at the descriptions below you will find the link to download it I made this map a long time ago and I'm very happy to give it away for you guys to play with. 
I will also have the lesson plans attached to this uh, in educationminecraft.net as soon as I possibly can. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this and we'll see you soon.